I'd like to start the island, which is the University Women's Eights. It's the University of London B in the purple on the right hand screen versus the light blue Edinburgh University A at the top of your screen. And off they go. I'm really excited about this race, Jess. It's getting one of my one to watch. I've seen some fantastic um, rowing this year, actually, by Edinburgh University, as I've been either umpiring and commentating around the circuit. And really impressive squad. We saw the A, B, and C boats in this event. There's a real depth here. The University of London B here in the purple and do qualifiers last week, so they were absolutely overjoyed at the boat tents when they got that call saying they'd made it through. Edinburgh crew just taking a slip on them in these opening stages. And you've got a bit of UL knowledge there. Jess, tell us about what's going on at that club at the moment. Yeah, we've got great representation, actually. We qualified this eight last week, so we've got a really strong A crew in this event. We'd like to see them do well today. We've got a very strong Prince of Prince Albert Cox 4 racing also through the week, so um, some real good representation in purple you're going to see. But today, in this race, it looks like it's going Edinburgh way. Yeah, and I think it's worth just remembering this is Edinburgh University A crew against University of London B crew. So these university squads are really strong and everyone wants to get uh, you know, as high as they can. You want to be the worst athlete in the best boat you can get into because then you're absolutely kind of in that your dream position. Um, and the Edinburgh University A women will have had to trial all year to earn their place. And now they're making sure that they make the most of that opportunity. Yeah, as they're coming down here, they, they would have known on the start line they've beaten this University of London B crew all year. But this is sport. It doesn't always go that way. You still got to turn up and do it and put the strokes in and win. And right now, lovely sideways shot there. You can see how actually horizontal our sport is. By that, I mean, look at their shoulders. They don't go up and down. Our sport is about moving and pushing the boat horizontally. Yeah, it's interesting, John Higson, he'll be on the boat behind. He's the professional coach at Edinburgh since 2013, and he really has got a way he's getting his athletes to row together and that efficiency. You can see they come quietly onto their, their feet and then press with their legs. It's a real, not a long stroke out the front as we see in some of the other crews, but you can see how they efficient it is. And when you do something together in a rowing boat, it works. You have to commit to what your coaches and athletes are doing, otherwise you just fight each other. That was a lovely shot. This is you can use this in training to show you how to actually row a rowing stroke. Great stuff there from Edinburgh Uni. Pan out and see the University of London still right there, a few lengths behind in the purple. The B crew did very well to qualify here for this regatta, and they're going to give it some through the middle of this course to stay in contention. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because University of um, Edinburgh, they've been used to winning, actually. They've been racing up in Scotland. They won the Scottish Championships in the Championship 8. And then they came into down south, if you like, in the Met Regatta. And on Sunday, they were fourth in Championship 8. And then on the Sunday, Saturday, sorry, the sixth. And I think in those Championship 8, they had Edinburgh University three boats in the top two finals. So you can see the strength and depth of of these university squads and you need that depth don't you so you need the kind of bottom of the pyramid the mid pyramid to push that top crew right at the top you see that across the board in lots of these big programs in your thames rowing club then your oxford brooks and your leanders you bigger programs generally really fuel that competition and you get a lot of cream at the top it's really interesting, isn't it? And, you know, being able to push each other on in the right way so you don't pull each other apart is really, really important. You and I, Jess, over the years, were in all sorts of sections, ending up in a boat together, actually, in 2008 in that Beijing Olympics. Um, that was a good day at the office. Day at the office. Sarah and I both got up, turned up today in matching blazers from Beijing. So um, the eight, the ultimate team sport, there's nine of you in there. Got the coxswain at the back of the boat steering and telling the crew what to do and it's about communication it's about trust in these big boats you can't always talk to each other that person there you're seeing in the bow seat Natalia Johnson of University of London she can't talk to her stroke person Maya Varley it has to be done on rhythm it has to be done on trust it has to be communicated through the coxswain at the back of the boat 
Yeah, it's interesting, Stuart Pierce, Pierce will be really proud of these women. They've got themselves through the qualifications. That was a tough old day, a long old day last Friday. They've had the weekend and now they're here at the regatta and they're going to push all the way. As we have seen so many times, you've just got to stay in touch. You've got to be brave if you're not winning at this point in the race because you never do know what's going to happen ahead of you. And this is it, this is their Henley. Let's see how close you can get to the Edinburgh University crew. They look like an absolute class act. Can University of London B close that gap? Have their heads up, sit strong through the enclosures. You see there's still that beautiful style that all these women of Edinburgh are efficient, effective, efficient, cross the finish line. Great row there by both crews, lovely conditions. Be pleased giving each other cheers on to the next day. The Island Challenge Cup win for Edinburgh University A against University of London D.